The damage from last night's protest is extensive. Our Jacqueline Quinn talked with some workers who were up early surveying the damage. You know, the business operators and the workers along Colfax, they're just wondering when this sort of violence and vandalism is going to end. They're hoping that it will not happen again tonight, you know, where we're standing in front of Chamba Hut. They're cleaning up a broken door. They've got graffiti, and the owner says that someone actually came in, or some people did, and stole some items. We're hearing similar things from other businesses down Colfax. But really, a lot of people here just wondering how a peaceful protest turns into something that becomes so uh, violent at the end, especially after the 8 p.m. curfew was set last night. You know, we saw the crowd moving back away from the state capitol, and uh, really protesters refusing to leave, even though officers were, of course, uh, pushing them back, using projectile and uh, tear gas to get them to move, especially in this area where it's close to one of the police uh, stations here. You know, that crowd was just going back and forth, and we talked with uh, a manager of a Wendy's here where uh, they really had seen a lot of damage. And when he was talking to us, he really was um, very uncomfortable with the situation and worried about what happens next. That's well, depressing, you know, knowing how the economy is. You know, this is basically where we come to work, where we get our families basically food, provide them with food. I have a newborn. It's like a month and a half old. And, you know, I had a manager when they started breaking windows, you know, she was scared for her life. You know, there's not much when we could do if when all the protesters are basically out in the street. So, you know, I try to do what I can, but once I seen it was pretty bad, it was it wasn't worth my life to be here. Now, that manager did come back inside to make sure that the other manager was okay. Uh, and, you know, he wasn't the only one that was worried. We talked to another gym across the street there, and uh, they were watching from their security cameras. It's just very concerned about uh, what had happened, and they're really hoping that, again, tonight it's not going to be what they've seen for the past few nights. For now, reporting in Denver, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado First.